Hi, my name is James Keogh and I'm in the final year of my PhD at the University of New South Wales. My research is investigating the aerodynamic effects of vehicles travelling in the cornering condition. In motorsport, this cornering condition is critical. Downforce is used to push the tyres harder into the road and this increases the cornering speeds. But there is also interest in the development of passenger vehicles. Some manufacturers have begun investigating how the aerodynamic effects of travelling through a corner will interact with the vehicle dynamics in this condition. The main aspect restricting aerodynamicists' understanding of this condition is that it can't yet be tested experimentally. There have been attempts in the past, but none of these have been able to accurately reproduce the flow conditions. So I've designed a new method that will be the first to offer correct and repeatable flow conditions. So firstly, what makes the cornering condition different? As a car travels through a corner, it assumes a curved path through stationary air. So if we are to change our reference frame and position ourselves within the car, we will observe the airflow curving past. Now what this means is that the velocity of the flow will change. The velocity of the flow over the outer side of the car will be higher than the flow over the inner side. In addition to this, the angle of the flow will also change over the car. The angle at which the flow approaches the front of the car will be different to the angle at which the flow leaves the rear of the car. The experiment collects flow through a bell mouth inlet, which smoothly delivers it to an axial fan. The axial fan is required to produce the required total pressure rise to overcome the losses within the system. The flow then passes down a straight tunnel section and through the rotary joint into the rotor components. When reaching the bend, the flow turns through 90 degrees and enters the plane of the test section. The flow is then decelerated and accelerated into the test section, where it passes over the wind tunnel model. At the exit, the flow is essentially filling the wake behind the test section and is then deflected away into the surrounding space of the room. This is a scaled version which I constructed to test the theory. This is an exciting new concept which will be the first to enable aerodynamicists to experimentally test within the cornering condition. This design not only shows great promise for improving future vehicle aerodynamic designs, but also for investigating the aerodynamic properties of a range of different bodies within these unique flow conditions.